What? <laughs> Cake. Oh snap. No, oh, no, no, no. All right, guys, this is Doc M with another Minecraft video. And as uh, it is quite obvious, I'm not the best in demonstrating traps. Who would ever jump in that hole? You know, nobody would, but uh, it's not the idea of the trap. Obviously, it is um, having a hidden yeah, switch or a hidden detect undetectable thing that would trigger from a cake or whatever you want to use to cause a block update. I just wanted to use cake because lately I was playing on the Hermitcraft a lot and there I have a lot of cake and I thought I need to figure out a trap. So um, this one includes to create floating sand and it actually still works in Minecraft 1.8.3. As you can see, I am in Minecraft 1.8.3 and I have floating sand and it's, be, yeah, it's doable in um, survival mode. But first, let's quickly demonstrate. Uh, it's quite obvious what happens with this trap. Somebody would walk up here, update by eating the cake, and we close the circuit. And whatever you connect to the output um, would do something then. Could be lava flowing down, could be piston door opening, you know, TNT, what I did. And I quickly want to show you how to set up one of these things. So pretty much all you need is a 3x3 three three and it's 4 deep. So 4 blocks deep. Make sure to dig a little exit or something um, when you work on it. And we should also quickly do... Uh, Time set day. It's getting a bit dark. We don't want to have mobs around and stuff. So, okay, this is what you do. Then, um, here's the trick how to get floating uh, sand still. Um, and I want to do it in survival mode so you see it actually works like that. So, you need uh, grass. Um, you would get that with a shear, you know. And you would do this, put the grass down, use the bone meal, make it a tall, double tall grass thingy. And then, uh, now I don't have enough blocks on me, um, but you would um, put your flo block you want to make float on top of that, like, like so, and then um, put your blocks around it. And um, before I do that, I just want to show you that the making it float works in survival. So we break that out now and we have created floating sand that would, that would uh, drop down if we update blocks next to it. We can quickly show you that. Um, let's get a block. See, so falls down. Hide a block update. So obviously, where was the sand? Give me my sand back. Or yeah, red sand or what, or gravel I used. Would obviously work. So before you make the floating gravel or floating sand, you would obviously fill in the sides around it so you don't cause any direct block updates and now to set the whole thing up you would pretty much do this get a bit of redstone going um, we need a lever or anything that gives power torch whatever you want to use put that in here and don't power it yet um, and yeah break out some blocks here create some room you can have outputs here there wherever you want to don't have to use sand you can use whatever in my case then you know I had some TNT around here not that crazy amounts, just a few blocks of TNT, whatever you can spare, you can hook up anything you want. Just like that, just be careful you don't have uh, your TNT around the, the lever back there. Now, um, you can simply do this trick and um, I showed you before, you just break it out, create a floating sand, make sure to take this block out before because yeah, if you power your thing now, um, you don't want the sand to fall and, yeah, and then you need to somehow dig out to the side, you know, don't update blocks next to it and, and you can close it off pretty much um, that would be it obviously right now um, if you want to use cake for it um, you have to make sure it's uh, suspended still um, because now if you would place down the cake it would drop so you can if you made this mistake you can always go back and fix it just uh, re remove the power get another tall grass in there and then you put your cake on and go back in Break that out, switch on the power, get out of here and close everything off. And now we pretty much have recreated what I had in the cave down there, this cake. And obviously um, in a mesa biome that would be hidden nicely or if you use normal sand in a um, desert it would be also hidden nicely. You can easily um, have support blocks below here. It doesn't matter if you want to have sand you know, being suspended because you have a hole below. Yeah, and now pretty much thing works. Whoop. What? What? Oh no, that's bad. Let's get away from here. And stuff explodes and obviously you would need a little bit of a bigger blast radius. 
Um, that was just TNT. It's probably not the best thing to use for a trap, you know. Have some sneaky lava flowing down or something is probably better, but it's just about getting the floating sand in 1.8.3 and being able to get an output. And that is the very simple setup that does that for you. So it still works. Floating sand um, by the help of, uh, let me get some sand. Floating sand by the help of tall grass. I don't know, wasn't there something that uh, f floating floating sand was fixed and everybody was upset about it? Um, I don't know, <laughs> it seems to work still. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't be too mean with your traps. See you next time, I'm out. Bye guys! <laughs> don't forget to leave a like.